Well, alright, then, hello there, my name is Bodax, and I am back for yet another Honkai Storial video. Now, June has arrived, and of course, version 1.1 is about two days away. And the frequently asked question is obviously, how many free currency are we getting during 1.1? And that is basically what this article covers on the Prideman website. Of course, the link will be down in the description if you want to read it for yourself. There's a lot of info, uh, so I do recommend you to, um, you know, check it out for yourself. Now, the first event that I mentioned is, of course, the Everwinter City Museum. It's probably the, the biggest event uh, releasing in this version, since we'll have a new uh, map, a new uh, area unlocked. Um, and it will be available from the 9th until the 26th. Now, of course, this is a permanent event, but the limited rewards will be uh, going away on the 26th, basically. Uh, and in this event, uh, we are uh, gonna help to manage the museum, and um, we are aiming to restore its popularity, so I'm looking forward to it, actually. Um, now, as for the rewards, uh, so the limited rewards are the ones above, and the uh, bottom row is uh, the per are the permanent rewards. So, of course, the limited ones are your are gonna be your main focus. Uh, I don't uh, actually expect this event to be that hard, since managing a museum doesn't really sound that hard. Uh, so, I mean, a thousand stellar jades, exp books to level up characters, which I'm running really low on, by, uh, by the way. Uh, so it's gonna be very nice and we are getting a self-modeling re resin now during the live stream news video I talked about this item uh, since it was only available uh, on the premium battle pass so if you bought the premium battle pass you got one of these items uh, and what you basically use this item for is uh, you can craft uh, any five star uh, gear um, and you can select the main stat. So let's say you want to um, craft a 5 star armor, you can just select that the main stat will be crit damage. Of course the substats are gonna be random ones, but you can uh, select a, a main stat for yourself. Which obviously makes uh, equipment crafting way more friendlier than Genshin's when we compare the two. Uh, so yeah, I mean this is a very nice item. Uh, I did um, of course, uh, craft my Jing Yuan, a, a very nice chess piece, uh, using this item, so uh, I'm stoked on getting another one, which, since it could be, you know, uh, useful for any character, you can just basically save up four of these, and just try to craft the whole set for a character, or I don't know, but uh, yeah, that is a very nice, very valuable item, and uh, then the permanent rewards are also uh, very decent, you know, some equipment uh, level up, some more uh, books, and then of course 450 jades, uh, very nice uh, rewards by the way. And then of course the permanent rewards, you can just get them anytime, uh, which is very nice. It, this looks like a very, very uh, rewarding event. I mean, we almost get a multi worth of uh, jades, which is in itself is very nice. Um, now, the second event will be the Star Hunt game, of course this will be the one where we uh, are supposed to graffiti the space station. So as you can see, we have some more limited rewards uh, on the top row and the bottom row are the per permanent rewards, which are gonna stay there permanently, obviously. Um, now, 700 Stellar Jades combined uh, with uh, a free 4-star uh, um, Light Cone that we can, by the way, max out, so we do get all the copies to superimpose it to level 5, and then even more books. And from the looks of things, we are even getting some quantum equipment. Obviously, they're trying to, uh, you know, help us build Silver Wolf if we get her, uh, or help newer players build her, since those of us who have been playing since the beginning um, might have, you know, some pieces lying around that could be useful on her. So this is very nice of them, uh, I would say. Um, now, the, as for the light cone, it increases the wearer's effect hit rate by 20%, and when the wearer attacks enemy targets that have reduced defense, uh, re they regenerate for energy. Now, this is on level 1, 
So I don't know what it will do on level 5, uh, we don't even know which uh, stats uh, will uh, of course uh, be upgraded, but I mean it seems pre pretty decent on uh, Silver Wolf I guess. Now obviously I haven't seen any builds so I don't know which light cones are gonna be the best on her, obviously uh, her own one should be the best, um, but I mean, other than that, I I really don't know whether this will be a like a very good one on her or just a decent one. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really seem to give any um, defense. It more like focuses on the support side of her kit. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we shall see how good this one will be on her. And then of course they do add that this is how uh, of course painting graffiti will look like. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks quite fun. We shall see how uh, these events will be. Now, as for the third event, which will be the Lab Assistant in Position, is what it's called. It will be available from the 19th until the 3rd of Ju uh, July. And during the live stream, it was mentioned that this would be one of those, um, you know, very normal fighting events where we would uh, fight a bunch of enemies, get the rewards and then get out. Uh, basically uh, similar to the um, Boulder Town tournament event uh, where we just, you know, fought a bunch of enemies, got the rewards or completed, you know, some missions and got the rewards and uh, that was basically it for the event. Now this is a limited time event, uh, so uh, we are only getting these rewards and after um, the event goes away we cannot get um, them anymore, so 500 Stellar Jades is decent, and obviously I'm not expecting any of the fights to be difficult, so I mean these are decent rewards um, considering that. Now as for the fourth event, they do say that this is a permanent event, now I'm quite unsure whether this is uh, Silver Wolf's uh, own like story event, since it gives uh, EXP. Uh, and of course 100 stellar jades and some more level up materials, but the rewards look quite nice. And to summarize, we are getting close to 3000 stellar jades. Now obviously this equals to about 18 pools, which in itself doesn't really sound like a lot. But I mean, considering that we have uh, some other events, uh, including that, you know, the 10 free tickets that we get from the login bonus later on, um, I mean, it's quite decent, I would say, like 28 pools, uh, it, it's not bad, I would say, um, and of course they do mention that we, uh, there's gonna be a bunch of, like, double reward events, um, in the, both in the simulated universe and from Calyxes, uh, which is uh, very nice, very, very nice. Now, I mean... In my opinion, uh, this update, uh, I mean, rewards wise, this update looks quite decent. Now, of course, I'm also looking forward to the content. Uh, of course, this Everwinter Museum event uh, should look pretty in uh, interesting uh, with the new uh, area that we get. We shall see what other goodies uh, we are getting. Le let me know what you think about the rewards. Uh, are you disappointed? Are you uh, content with what we get? That would be it for the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.